a very large number of children just aren't having the reading skills they need to succeed in school. The statistics in the U.S. are that so many children are, are behind because of learning differences, because of poverty. The more we understand about how the mind and brain learns, the more we might be able to use that knowledge to enhance outcomes for many learners at all stages of the lifespan. One area that I think would be fantastic to really grow is the use of technology in education. Technology has revolutionized practically every aspect of our lives. It has not moved education forward one iota. There is almost no evidence that anything we do in technology has uh, helped kids read better, do math better, have better social emotional well-being. In fact, we're going the opposite way on that. Rates of depression and anxiety are up in adolescence. Even before COVID in the United States, we've had a clear mental health crisis, especially amongst adolescents and young adults, which is so worrying and touching so many families' lives. Some of the research directions we're pursuing is early identification of risks. So you don't wait until a child is in a full-blown depression, and then you can hopefully do something on behalf of that child. We know technology can be amazingly powerful. It can be highly personalized to individuals. And so we think that that's a huge both opportunity and challenge uh, to say, what can we do using the best that we understand about modern technology, which has revolutionized practically every sphere of our life except educational outcomes on behalf of children. We want the kinds of skills in technology and science and engineering that are so amazing at MIT to be aimed at issues of educational improvement. That kind of system between um, scientific knowledge and implementation has not occurred very well in education. We just haven't had much of a system to say, oh, if we know something about how learning can be improved, uh, whether it's learning to read, uh, STEM learning, social emotional uh, well-being on behalf of children, how do we know what program works, for whom it works, and how to implement it effectively? I think that MIT can contribute to this sphere of opportunity and social equity is to push not only the technology and the science, but also a scientific approach to saying what really works and for whom.